This is Stephen K4ATZ. And sorry about the sunlight. I'm trying to stay out of it. Let me close it. There you go. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's the transom. It doesn't work. <clears throat> We're going to talk about some battery power for the KX3. And um, I've got here a little storage container. Pick it up at your local Walmart. Um, I've also bought the uh, recommended case for the KX3. It's called a um, Edit. 140 by uh, Low Pro, Low L O W E P R O. Edit 140 is the one they recommend. Show that in a little bit. But through eBay, you can get all kinds of connectors for stored batteries. These hold four each. They're interlockable, so that would be eight there. And then on the inside. You can either put AAA or AA. These are really good, but they're so-so. Since the KX3 is going to take eight AA's, I think this is a better option. It's flat, has a nice two snaps, opens up, and you can keep all your batteries nice and neat. These happen to be the uh, I medium low discharge batteries. These are um, 2400 milliamp. They're all charged up, ready to go, but the battery pack for the KX3 is not going to be ready when the radio is ready. The radio is not even ready yet. It's supposed to be shipped any day now. But I've got that. I've got another one. These are the Sanyo in loops, low discharge. They will store a lot longer. Another pack of in loops. Another pack of half in loops. And then half of the Sanyo, um, they're in loop, but they're higher milliamp. They have two X's on them. I don't know what they call these things. And then I have some high capacity double A's. Uh, Ansman Energy. These are 2850 each. And you know how I know they're really 2850? It's because they're not made in China. They're not made in Japan. They're not made in the United States. They're made in Germany. One thing about German products are they're very good. Their ships are good. Their products are good. These batteries are very good. Because a lot of these Chinese batteries will tell you 2,000 milliamps, 24. I've seen them as high as 4,000 milliamps. They will not hold a charge. And they stink. These batteries, these Ansman, are excellent batteries. And they have a warranty. I think it's a year or two. I think it's a two-year warranty. So if they ever don't hold a charge, they'll replace them. Um, again, these are 2850. 2,000. 850 milliamp true capacity so and um, they may cost you a little bit more than other ones but they're well worth it so I've got me an eight pack of those and then another eight pack of standard alkaline batteries that of course you cannot recharge and um, I've got some Duracells copper top and believe it or not rated by Consumer Reports real good or Costco Kirkland batteries. I usually get save the money and get the Kirkland. So I've, I'm all set for the power when that battery does come out. And I'm making a to-go box. There will be a video. And these will fit. I'm going to put a drawer in them. These will fit very nicely in to-go box. I'm probably not going to mount um, or if I mount my KX3 in the to-go box, it's going to be on Velcro so I can take it, put it in and take it. Um, but I am going to have a Yaesu 857 in there. Um, however, these batteries in the pack will fit in the drawer if I decide to take that. Or I can put these in the case, the Low Pro Edit 140. All right? Always good to have a battery checker with you, too, when you have this many batteries.
This is Steven, K4ATZ73s.